The San Francisco 49ers are officially the most injured team in the entire NFL. And let's go one by one down the list to determine why this is the case. No question about it. I am ready to get hurt again. Starting with the 49ers offense, Trey Lance, ankle dislocation fracture out for the year. Running back, Elijah Mitchell, MCL sprain, eight week injury out since week one on injured reserve. Tight end, Tyler Croft, MCL sprain, multiple week injury out since week two. Tight end, Jordan Matthews, torn ACL out for the year. Left tackle, Trent Williams, high ankle sprain, out since week four could be back next week though there we go tackle colton mckivitz knee sprain on injured reserve out a minimum four weeks right tackle mike mcglinchey calf hobbled in the first half did not return his injury extent to be determined now let's transfer to the defensive side <laughs> Again, we're talking about the best rated defense in the entire NFL. Defensive end, Nick Bosa, arguably the front runner for the defensive player of the year. Groin was out this week against the Falcons. He could return next week though. Defensive end, Samson Ebukam, knee Achilles tendonitis, evaluated twice on the sidelines against the Atlanta Falcons, but he ultimately stayed in. Defensive end, Jordan Willis, knee, underwent cleanup, is on IR. Defensive tackle, Javon Kinlaw, knee, out since week four, placed on IR earlier this week. Defensive tackle, Eric Armstead with a foot and ankle, multiple week injury out since the second half of week four tbd on when he will actually return defensive tackle maurice hurst torn biceps out for the season linebacker aziz al shair mcl sprain eight week injury suffered in week three is on ir linebacker demetrius flanagan fouls knee left late in the game status still unclear cornerback emmanuel mosley torn acl starting quarterback out for the year cornerback charvarius ward groin walked into the locker room at half did not return still awaiting status of his injury cornerback jason Verrett, recovering from an acl injury in the three-week ir return window but had soreness last week and the 49ers shut him down so his return still tbd safety jimmy ward hand will be reevaluated next week had surgery on his hand after being placed on ir with a hamstring injury during training camp the san francisco 49ers are decimated with injuries and they continue to be the most injured team in the nfl a former team doctor for the new england patriots came up with a score rating for how to grade teams and their injuries he calls this the nfl bus rankings bus stands for banged up scores this quantifies how injuries affect the overall team position and players performance on a scale of 0 to 100. so as you can see the san francisco 49ers rank dead last 32 out of 32 teams with a 60.4 rating and this was heading into week six against the falcons and as we know the san francisco 49ers suffered more injuries so clearly they will continue to be at the bottom of this list moving forward the nfc west is dealing with a lot of injuries so it's not just the san francisco 49ers but it does beg the question how does this team get healthy